Hey, hey, hey guys, what's up? Very much welcome to another tutorial here on The Helper. This time we'll be taking a look at how to make your voice sound like something straight out of a trailer um, using Audacity. And also I'm going to explain how to use Audacity chains to really enhance your work so you can work much faster in Audacity and get the same sound every time. So basically my voice turned into this in a matter of minutes. You. And I are here on planet Earth, the greatest planet to ever exist. Okay, so it's a bit cheesy, of course. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I think it does the trick pretty well since my voice is not really good for this in particular. Most people will be able to do this with um, some decent quality recording gear. And I'm just using the Samsung Go mic, which is not really that pricey or anything. It's okay, it's a decent mic. So, first of all, let's go to a new project. Um, and we're gonna record our voice right here. So, um, promise you won't laugh, let's go. You and I are here on planet earth the greatest planet to ever exist okay so that's that's our sample one thing i just want to mention is at the end and the beginning here please either place leave out some time so we can get the noise profile and get rid of that background noise because it's so annoying you that's not really very good. So now we'll be using something called chains, which basically um, applies loads of effects at once uh, instead of doing 10 different effects every time manually. So let's go right over here to file and edit chains. This is where it happens. So basically this is my, I've called this one optimize, which is my trailer voice. Um, so we can just click add and yeah, trailer voice. Keep in mind that the settings might have to be a little bit different for you than they are for me. Um, since yeah, you have to fit your voice with pitch correction and stuff like that, but we'll get to that later. Um, basically how it works is like you can see it starts here by applying normalize then EQ, change pitch, EQ again, normalize again, compression, equalization, equalization, sorry, and limiter. Uh, so that's, it does this process just by one click, which is really, really nice. And you get the same result every time. Um, I'm not going to make this over again, but basically you just create a new and click insert and then find the effect you need. So copy me right here. The first effect we have is the normalize. Um, so I can just show you right here the parameters, enable this, and minus one dB. Um, yeah. So that will um, normalize the audio a bit. After that, we're doing um, some EQ, which is this one right here. Um, basically, you can see it's set to bass boost right here. Um, don't mind this. It's gonna you're just gonna go here select curve base boost click. Okay. Yeah, and the pitch change for me It's I've usually set it to 15 or somewhere around that 12. I think I'm actually gonna change this to 15 um, Yeah, after that we're gonna use the uh, EQ once again and this time we're doing a treble boost, which will um, make the highs go a little further. Um, yeah, and the parameters, basically just this one treble boost here. Um, yeah, if you think it's too crazy, you can just lower it a bit. The same with bass boost by dragging this down. Yeah. And then we're gonna do normalize shit again. Same settings as before. And now it's time to do the compressor. 
And basically this is just the defaults, just click manage, factory presets, defaults, and you have it right here. There you will bring the everything up a bit. And once again, equalization. Um, let me just see, this is unnamed. Um, it's not really needed. I'm pretty sure just a little bit more travel boost like that. And lastly, very important also, uh, because some of um, some of it might peak over and start getting really noisy. So the limiter will cut out the really high, high moments so it evens out a bit. It's found here, limiter. And this is what it looks like, hard limit, zero, zero, blah, 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 so on. Basically, click OK. So this is uh, our entire chain. So the really insanely cool thing you can do is mark all this, click File, Apply Chain, and we have it right here, Apply to Current Project. And there we have it, it just did all of that stuff. So let's just have a listen. You and I are here. Okay, so <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. It's time to remove the background noise now, and you have to do this manually. So these are, what I, this is what I talked about. Um, we left the bit out to get the noise profile. So go to effects, mark this part where there's noise only, noise reduction, get noise profile. And now you can just mark it all, go back to noise reduction, click, I use these settings, click OK. And if you see there's still a bit of noise, you can click Control R, or just go here and repeat it. So, you and I are here. Okay, that's better. There's still a bit of noise. And I have a pretty untraditional way of getting rid of this last noise, I think. But it works pretty good, I think. So, let's just select this. Go to Effects and Fade Out. So hold or click Control R. And just click like this. Um, and it'll actually get some of that noise, like this. This is really annoying, those sound waves. You can just control R, so it repeats this effect. Like that, I really get hold of the noise. Um, this could be a bit time consuming, but it will, will really help your recordings a lot. So let's just delete some of this. You and I are here on planet Earth, the greatest planet to ever exist. Okay, that's very dramatic. So let's do some reverb just to make it sound a little bit more, um, like it feels a little more. Go to factory presets, I like this, this vocal one. And then basically you just take the stereo width to 100% and room size to 100%. Okay. Like that. You. Just gives a little bit of itch. So with background music, I guess we'll just take the background music from here. Let's play. You. Okay, we can't do that. Well, let me just copy this in then. You. And I are here on planet Earth, the greatest planet to ever exist. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's the idea, the general idea. Of course, you can do a lot more work with um, the reverb here to make it sound even better. Um, you can just try to add some more reverb, it might be very you. bad. Yeah, that's over the top. But you get the idea. It's just mess around with these, with these uh, reverb settings and you'll get there. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more. Goodbye.